What's going down y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing another face shave on a woman. I wanna give a big shout out first and foremost to the woman in today's video. Uh, she does nails for a living. I don't know how many of you guys are into nails or, or do nails or anything like that. I will post some of her work on the screen right now. I will also drop her nail page and her personal page down in the comment section. But I bring that up because she recently just hooked me up with my first manicure. I've been trying to take care of my nails. I, I have a real bad nail biting habit since I could remember and I'm trying to do everything I can to stop biting my nails. So I got the clear coat gel on there. She took care of me. Uh, but yeah, man, big shout out to her. Uh, go show her some love, tell her E. Joan sent you. But as far as the actual video goes, she is Mexican, that's her nationality. And I don't wanna, don't take this disrespectful at all, but her face was hairy, not super hairy, nothing like that, but it had a, a decent amount of hair on her face, but the, the hair was blonde. So it doesn't really translate to a dramatic shaving video, but take my word for it, there was enough hair <laughs> where I could see the hair, I can feel the hair, uh, but the hair is just blonde. And that's kind of rare for a Hispanic woman. But other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's just get into it. So after we get done with the pre-shave treatment, we're gonna jump right into the actual shave. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but me and my client do a lot of laughing and shit talking throughout this video. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the vibe and ruin the whole experience of the video, but we were just having lighthearted, fun conversations. Uh, but like I told you guys, her facial hair was super, super blonde. Uh, so that's what it looks like when it's clumped up with the shaving gel. But that's not just blonde hair. That's not just shaving gel. That's makeup. That's dirt. That's sweat. That's dead skin all clumped together with the shaving gel. Um, so yeah. Uh, but just because her hair is blonde, it doesn't mean we shouldn't take it off the face. You know what I'm saying? So whether the hair is black or blonde, the makeup that she applies to her face is going to want to cling to the hair rather than the skin and that's why it's so important whether the hair is black or blonde that we remove it.
Now, whether you're looking to shave your own face or provide this type of face shaving service, one of the tips I can give you guys is when you change the side of the face that you're shaving, change the razor as well. Now the razors that I use are disposable. They come in like a pack of 100 or 200, so you can afford to change the razor. Now it's super important that you always keep a fresh, sharp razor, uh, because for one, you're gonna get a, a cleaner, more evenly shave, but this might sound weird, the sharper the razor, the less chance you have of nicking your client. Now I'm gonna say that again, the sharper the razor, the fresher the razor, the less chance you have of nicking your client. Now let's just say you have a dull razor. When you're shaving with that, it's not gonna get a clean shave, it's gonna cause you to apply more pressure to get the same result as a freshly sharp razor. Now when you're applying more pressure to the skin with that straight razor, you're increasing the chance of nicking your client. Opposed to that, when you have a freshly shaven sharp razor, it's just going to evenly and effortlessly glide across the skin, decreasing the chance of you cutting your client. Hopefully that made sense. And moving on to the post-shave treatment, like always, we're gonna wipe down the skin using some rubbing alcohol. Yes, I agree, rubbing alcohol can be a little bit too harsh if you use it every day or multiple times a week, but in this instance, we're gonna use it to wipe away any excess shave oil, shaving gel. It's gonna protect the skin and me as a barber from any microbacteria that can cause infections, inflammation, redness, breakouts. So it's perfect for aftershave treatment. So now that we have the skin nice and clean, we're gonna use an aftershave spray. In this case, we're gonna go with the beloved and most popular Mario Badescu spray. And in my opinion, this is a good facial spray, but I personally have used better. Uh, but I had to throw it in the video because I know a lot of you guys love this product and are familiar with it. Uh, so it's perfect for aftershave treatment. So after that, we're gonna go in with an eye serum. We're gonna apply it to the under eye and the eyelid. And our next step is to apply an anti-aging serum. This one's from Restore Skinny Essentials. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that this company sent me an insane care package, five different type of aging serums. Uh, this one right here that I'm using in today's video is the Vitamin C Luminous Glow. They also have Pore Control, Hydration Boost, Grape Seed Extract, Watermelon Seed Extract. Uh, I will leave a clickable link down in the description that will take you directly to the website where you guys can purchase all different types of serums, skin products, um, yeah, man, it's amazing. All right, so let me stop the video real quick. As you guys just seen, I used a spatula to scoop out the moisturizer. Now I did that 
because of you guys. There's a lot of you guys in my previous videos uh, that always say like, yo, don't use your finger, use a spatula. You, you prevent the cross contamination of future clients with that same moisturizer. Now, obviously I was washing my hands before I put my hands in the moisturizer. You guys know that. I think that's part of the reason why I, I enjoy having a bigger women, woman audience nowadays is because women, and no disrespect, women are just more in tune with themselves more than men are, you know what I'm saying? You guys are self-conscious about your skin, your face, your nails, your eyelashes. And that's not a bad thing. That that's a amazing thing. Your hygiene is on a different level than a man's would. Just naturally just it's a higher level. I would say 90% of the comments that women leave on my videos are uplifting. Um they want to drop knowledge, products, tips, and it's so much different than a man. Like a man on these type of videos, a man, let's just say a man or whatever, a hating ass nigga, right? A typical comment would be like, yo, why is this bitch shaving her face? Like, why is she trying to be like a man? She's gonna grow a beard, get back in the kitchen. It's like, it's so close-minded and they lack so much knowledge, which I just don't pay attention to, but a, an average woman comment is like, yo, her lashes are banging, her eyebrows, her skin. Yo, you should try this product. Use a spatula. So basically, long story short is I fuck with the vibe I get on my channel nowadays. And I think that's because a lot more women are tuning in and supporting. You women have way more knowledge than I could ever have on skincare beauty because this is what y'all should this is what y'all do every day, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not too much of a man to put my pride aside and be like, yo, that shit makes sense. I fuck with it. I'm gonna try that because she knows what she's talking about more than I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this type of shit. So I fuck with all the women that support my channel. That's basically what I'm saying. And it's created, it's starting to spark a new creativity, new learning curve, new passion to try some shit, fail, put it into action, and then put it on the camera. So I fuck with y'all, period. And after we get done massaging that moisturizer into the skin, we're gonna go in with the frozen J-Stone roller to lock in that moisture by shrinking the appearance of the pores and relieving all the facial tension and aches in the facial muscles itself. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave a thumbs up on the way out. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.